Bro! News. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. It helps out the channel a crap ton. Thank you guys so, so much. So I don't want you guys to see who I'm playing for, you know, content purposes. But do you guys know of a little punk inside of the community kind of ruffling some feathers? <laughs> Just take a look at some of the matches that we played yesterday. Dude, the pick rate for Larry and Lori a little bit higher up in trophy matchmaking is dang near 100%. I have noticed there's a few counters to Larry being as broken as he is. There aren't that many, but there are some ways to get around him. But let me tell you what, it starts to get increasingly more difficult once there's two Larry and Lori's in a match and even freaking three <laughs> Larry's and Lori's, bro. <laughs> back to back oh my gosh that was awful now i have some great news about this larry and lori dilemma a brawl that's been released for quite some time and broken for a while now we finally have some confirmation about a nerf incoming and quite soon literally tomorrow we have this bit of evidence here in my opinion this is just kind of like a staple the dev team or the game lead is just going to say that they're going to get a nerf sometime soon because obviously they're going to get it but i think the most important info is when are they going to get the nerf we know the nerf is coming they're incredibly broken but when is it right but we have frank saying ps yes we know nerf larry and Lori, and remove duplicates from matchmaking we're working on that let's try to stay on topic please which of course was a reply to a original tweet here talking about some update maps here and obviously he's going to preface this with just some larry and lori q a questions that he is most definitely going to get here in the 322 questions right but my people my people we just got a really exciting message over here on the youtube community tab on the official brawl stars youtube channel and it comes with two exciting bits of news and that is number one the time to explain podcast is coming back bro ask us anything not only is the podcasts incredible Incredibly enjoyable to listen to right just getting some insights around brawl stars but a lot of the time there is a crap ton of easter eggs and sneak peeks about future updates which i will be breaking down for you guys so subscribe to the channel stay tuned but obviously if you're making a post basically asking the community about questions they have about brawl stars and one of the most pressing issues or things that people have questions over is a nerf incoming for larry and lori it's important to address when that's going to happen to try to get some actual questions for this podcast right not just larry Lori. But the actual message here is, well, it has been a while since the last time to explain podcast, and we know you have a lot of questions for us. So ask us anything. But before you say it, we will have a maintenance break tomorrow with balance changes for Larry and Lori and a few other brothers. Thank gosh. But obviously, more coming tomorrow as well. Other balance changes, nerfs, and buffs. Very excited to see what that list is going to be. We don't know how long or big it's going to be, obviously. But, you know, with a good list of balance changes, it can make the entire game feel completely new. So, really looking forward to seeing what that list is going to be like. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel. I'll be breaking everything down once we get more info. Bye-bye, Larry Lori. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good rids, bro. <laughs> moving along, moving along. We got quite a bit to get into here in this video today. As you guys know, in a recent episode of Brown News, we had mentioned a really interesting new Supercell Make campaign coming around the corner, or just a set of skins that we can vote on and which one we like the most for a future update, right? For these B cool concept skins and the votes are in people we have a winner and that is this one on the very far left the blue and purple feel to the b i think it's a really really cool skin i believe this was my second pick at the time i really really enjoy the pink one as well the one that came in second place i think i would have voted for that one just because i think i like the neon color of it a bit better right that that deep rich purplish pink color looks phenomenal but very very happy with the teal one that ended up winning can't wait to see this in game one thing i have noticed is the dev team has been really focused on skins and whatnot which is quite interesting and a lot of the time with skins sometimes you can make really awesome speculations about future update themes for these skins to fit into right what theme does it make sense for these skins to come into the game with i don't know if this is really preaching a different update theme or something foreign that they would fit into seeing that we do have these like futurist 
futuristic dystopian tech skins in the game already with like a BB skin in there. We have 8-bit in there. There's a lot of examples of these like futuristic cyberpunk skins. And I think this just kind of fits into that bill. But there's also more news when it comes to skins. And this one, an actual Supercell make campaign, this time for Gene and Sandy, two brawlers at the same exact time. And this is actually a really interesting campaign because there seems to be no outward theme or objective from the dev team. They just want cool skins for each of the brawlers. So the criteria is think of a skin that would have an epic or mythic rarity. You can submit concepts for either one or both brawlers. The theme is no theme. Submissions start tomorrow, which this tweet was quite some time ago, right? This campaign was announced a little bit ago. But the thing that I don't love about this campaign is we don't have a theme to go off of. So we don't get much context as to what the next update could B, right? Which we might just have to wait for when the dev team ends up picking these brawlers. Because I got a feeling they might actually pick skins that the community develops that might fit a future update. Could be loosely, could be exact dead on to a theme coming around the corner. Who knows? But when we get some ideas as to what skins end up being picked, we might be getting some more context about future updates, which you guys know Supercell Make has been a really good predictor as to what future updates might hold for us, right? For a skin to fit into those themes but really really excited two different skins and i gotta be frank with you all i think sandy and gene are very deserving of new skins it's been a while since either of them have had a hype skin so can't wait and seeing that we've been discussing quite heavily future updates here in bro stars i would next like to get into a dilemma coming around the corner here and that is what comes next after season 23 we have a bit of a different format here recently in bro stars where every single month we've been getting a brand new season of the Brawl Pass. This time around, it worked out a little bit differently, seeing that the last Brawl Talk covered a few different seasons and when those brawlers would be released with the seasons. With Kit, we had Larry and Lori, each of those brawlers being released with a different season in mind, right? But the update info from the most recent Brawl Talk has now dried up, right? Season 23 is the final bit of content that was announced in that Brawl Talk. So seeing that we have a brand new kind of format to updates and brawl talks and seasons of the brawl pass it's pretty dang hard to speculate what might come maybe a brawl talk coming before season 23 ends here in the future there are a lot of possibilities it makes a ton of sense seeing that the release of these brawlers have been coming out with early accesses a week before the brawl pass ends if indeed we are going to keep this pace up with new brawlers which a they might take a month off we came off of a pretty dang hype update this december update but it would make sense to get more info about season 24 here a little bit before the end of this season so we can definitely expect a potential new brawl talk here in a couple weeks i would say three weeks two weeks something like that we'll take some time to get used to it as to when things will get scheduled with the brand new format of the brawl pass and the release of these new seasons and i'll keep you guys in the loop once we get more concrete evidence when a new brawl talk should come out i'll be letting you guys know specific dates and speaking of brawl talk and much like we discussed previously most of the content that was presented in this most recent brawl talk has kind of come to an end right it's dried up most of the content has already made its way into the game except a few specific things namely some really fun skins right around the corner and we have some info to go over for a specific skin that is pretty dang obvious as to when it's going to come out and that is l quarterback primo bro and now that i'm looking at it there's a few other skins that need to be released yet right this jesse one the piper one <laughs> And it's hard to tell when those are going to be coming out, but I have a bit of speculation and discussion throughout the community as to when it makes sense for L quarterback Primo to come out. Here in the news tab in game, we have the L quarterback Primo listed at 199 gems, a mythic skin released in early February. If you ask me, it's early February right now. I don't know if you guys care or follow it or anything like that, but this year's Super Bowl is falling on Sunday, February 11th, which most definitely goes under that 
early February time frame, right? And the reason we're even discussing this is I believe this skin was meant to be released to celebrate the Super Bowl, right? A skin to be released to have fun with this thing. Seeing that in the Brawl Stars fan kit, if you type in Super Bowl, there's already assets centralized around that. And it has everything to do with this El Primo skin here. So again, I feel like this skin was designed to celebrate the Super Bowl this year, which is falling on February 11th this upcoming Sunday. So yeah, be sure to look out for that skin coming out right around the corner and those other skins, those small little bits, those remnants of new content still coming out from the most recent Brawl Talk, like that Jazzy skin, the Piper skin, those will be coming as well. And don't forget the Lunar New Year skins still need to be released here. Those ones coming much sooner than you think, much like the Wukong Miko skin. But yeah, I think that's a good stopping point here in this episode today. Hope you all found the information helpful or useful here. If you did, be sure to slap a like on it. I'd really appreciate that. But with that being said, have a phenomenal rest of your day and we'll be talking super soon. Adios and take care. Whew.